What's up you guys, James Strickland here. Welcome to week 18 on my road to 2100 pounds and my continuation on my road to 700 pounds on bench. So this week I got a little bit uh, a different schedule. I've actually got to be out of town uh, Thursday this week. So today being uh, my first day Monday uh, in the gym, I've opted to uh, go ahead and hit my squats first. And uh, today I've got uh, set of uh, 600 for one, 630 for one, and then top set of 660 for one. So here's 600. Felt a little sluggish. Um, a couple things could have been uh, contributing factors. One is I didn't warm up uh, quite as much as I needed to there. Uh, or just, uh, you know, just the CNS just wasn't quite primed. This is actually a little bit early in the morning. Uh, I typically don't do my workouts until afternoon. Uh, so I'm just not quite awake, honestly. Uh, this was about 9 o'clock in the morning that I did this. Uh, this is a side shot here of that 600. I like to film these just to make sure I'm hitting depth. Uh, also to just watch my form, make sure that I've got good footing and uh, <coughs> have a couple different angles. So depth was good. Just a little slow on that uh, ascent there, but uh, not a deal breaker. Last week I did 615 for two, uh, so this should definitely be uh, a walk in the park. This is 630. Let's see how it looks. Definitely looks a lot better. Definitely felt a lot better. Uh, I think I just needed to prime up everything uh, just with that, uh, that first 600. Uh, I knew it was going to not be easy, so I think I just brought it this time. Good form. Bar straight up and down. All right, so here we go. 660 here. Definitely feeling the weight. Heaviest I've ever done without a spot. Of course, I'm safe right here in the squat rack. Very easy. I think I had a little bit more in the tank there, but uh, I'm not maxing out here, so there's no reason to do that. We are working up to the one rep max being at the meet. Uh, this being uh, about five and a half weeks or so out, uh, I think we're looking pretty solid uh, for 700. Uh, current uh, one rep max in a meet competition best is 650. Uh, I think we all know that could have been a lot more, but just didn't come out of the hole at that last meet with enough power and uh, didn't have the good the good form. I had that knee cave in on me, so there we go. Looking at it on the side view, I think I probably could have had just a little bit better depth, uh, but that's never been an issue. So uh, I'm actually working on having uh, not going as far down. So that's an easy fix for me. All right, so moving on, we've got um, speed squats. This is 495 on the bar, three sets of three. So the reason by my, uh, behind my um, schedule this week is obviously I knew uh, if I went uh, heavy bench on Monday, my Tuesday would be squats. I wouldn't have uh, either my shoulder day or my deadlift day. Obviously, I would rather have my deadlift day and my squat day, but I would not want to put those two back to back. To back. So the plan was to go squats today, bench tomorrow, and deadlifts on Wednesday, uh, allowing me to free up my schedule to uh, get out of town. I had some, uh, some stuff going on uh, this weekend, so I need to uh, adjust my lifting schedule accordingly basically fit in my four day split into three days, uh, which is not ideal, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. So moving on here, I've got uh, pause squats with 440, uh, two sets of three, pausing at the bottom, exploding out, really working on just uh, having that uh, explosion out of the hole. This really works on uh, hitting depth as well. Really opens up uh, everything at the bottom. If you have issues coming out of the hole, these definitely will help you there. But um, so I'm actually feeling pretty good about my squats uh, right now. Uh, definitely after hitting 660 uh, with no help whatsoever and uh, being, being alone in the squat rack, obviously I have the safety pin set up. So safety is, is always paramount. If I was to lose it, I would just drop it right on those pins and I'd be safe to walk out from underneath it very similar to if I need to do it on bench. I think you guys saw a couple weeks back when I uh, had to bail on a bench uh, and just put it down on the, on the pins and walked out from underneath, no big deal. So 
to finish out the pause squat sets here. I just set it down there, it's just easier. Uh, I actually could have obviously squatted that out, but I didn't want to have to unload the weight and re reload it just to do uh, my 450 de uh, overhead deadlift holds. These are 15 seconds for the first set. And second set, I stripped off a little bit of weight and went 380. Just easier to get out from underneath it and set it down on those pins. The only reason I have plates under my feet is just because the bar, uh, when I set it down on those pins, just was a little bit uh, too high uh, for me to grab it, and I wasn't going to get a good deadlift hold out of it, so uh, I just needed about an inch, inch and a half, uh, so I just went ahead and stood on plates just to lift me up. So moving on, I've got uh, one leg uh, glute bridges. This is with a 45-pound dumbbell. It's always awkward, no matter if I do it with a 45-pound plate or a 45-pound dumbbell. Uh, really working on getting that hamstring working. Uh, these uh, definitely hit that hamstring really, really good. Um, actually, these hit them so good that I end up getting cramps in them uh, for working them so much. But uh, these definitely will help uh, the bottom of my squat, my deadlift, um, the posterior chain. I don't have a really good angle to show you how high I'm getting, but getting that butt off the ground is the, is the key here. So um, the plan, uh, like I said this week, uh, oh, last thing here, I've got the GHR, modified GHR uh, with 30 pounds. I've actually got 35 pounds there, but this is um, three sets of six. Those was one, one leg uh, glute bridges. That was uh, two sets of 12. But um, so the idea here is to uh, hit up um, the uh, Iron City Gym tomorrow uh, with bench press and then come back to dynamic fitness here uh, on Wednesday for uh, deadlifts uh, and just to round out the week. Uh, and then next week uh, is a plan deload. So moving on, like I said, you know, day two. All right, two. so we're here at Iron City Gym today. Like I said, last week, we're gonna see if we can't get uh, maybe more than 12 reps on the 200s. So uh, we got the 180s right now, warmed up the 160s about three reps, trying to get warm. It's a pretty hot day here in Houston, uh, about 100 degrees in the gym. This is no AC. Um, but, uh, we're going to see if we can maybe put up these 200s for more than 12 reps. Uh, the goal uh, that I put out for myself is 15. We'll see what happens. Um, anything over 160 starts feeling pretty heavy. Uh, I think it's just, it just hits the CNS pretty good. But uh, I like to hit the 180s kind of in between, get my, uh, my CNS primed up pretty good and uh, let my free workout kick in, and uh, we'll see what happens with these 200, so stay tuned. One eighties, here we go. Definitely getting a good warm up. Uh, I always like to warm up specifically for whatever set that I'm doing. Uh, you'll notice that uh, in a lot of my recaps. I don't show all my warm-ups, but uh, definitely want to make sure that you guys know that uh, I never go straight into my top set, uh, regardless of how light it is. Um, I always do at least one warm-up set before my rear delt flies, before my cable flies. Uh, obviously, I do plenty of warm-ups before my heavy, heavy sets, my main sets, but even my accessories uh, is what I'm specifying here is uh, I definitely get into uh, making sure that I'm warm. So that's just kind of a little warm-up set. I think that was the 180s. Uh, just to prime the CNS, uh, I definitely get a little lightheaded when I lay back with those. Uh, I mean, that's 180 pounds uh, in each hand, so nothing to play around with. Um, you know, it doesn't take much weight uh, to get you uh, to get you injured here. I got some help today. I really do appreciate this. <laughs> Saves a little bit of energy for me. So the 200s here is quite a bit of weight. Every time I lay back with these, it's a struggle. Uh, just to make sure that I stay in the groove, I do not want to get out of the groove with these. Uh, it's an easy way to tear muscle, easy way to pop a ligament, tendon, joints. Uh, it's just uh, 
you got to be careful with these. Uh, barbell is uh, a little bit more forgiving. Uh, I can overcorrect and, and not worry about uh, about some of the smaller things uh, going wrong. Uh, that's typically uh, something that I found that I can do that a lot of other people cannot do. But there's one thing that uh, I don't feel real secure about overcorrections uh, with, and that's dumbbells. Uh, especially when we're talking about 200 pounds, uh, 200 pounds in each hand, uh, not something to play around with. Um, when I lay back with these, I get real lightheaded, uh, and it, I gotta, I gotta get real focused uh, to get out of that state of being lightheaded. That all that pressure, um, it goes away within a second or two. But then I gotta start pressing because uh, there's only so much time underneath those dumbbells that you have energy for. Uh, if you're not pressing, you're still using energy just holding them. So. The plan obviously is 15 for today. We'll see what we get. And that's it. So we got 10 out of the way. Now at this point, I definitely feel, and note that there's no sleeves, not that it really matters that much, but I know some of you guys like to point out that there's uh, no sleeves there and that sleeves make a difference. Uh, my elbow started kind of hurt, so I definitely put sleeves back on. Uh, but uh, I definitely feel uh, that I am a little bit drained from heavy squats yesterday. Uh, and that's not that big of a deal. It's not like uh, if I don't hit 15 reps today or if I don't hit a certain number of reps today that, that I'm somehow weaker than I was last week. Uh, you got to understand the circumstances. I hit a 660 squat yesterday early in the morning uh, and normally I take a, a break uh, of at least one day between my heaviest of lifts. Uh, this is obviously less than 24 hours later. Let's see what we get on the second set here. definitely feel a lot better. They're moving a lot better. Um, basically, uh, that first set kind of uh, gets all the kinks out. Start losing the groove there. Just trying to stay as tight as possible. And start to come over. There was no way I was going to try to recover that, regardless of what, how strong I felt. It's just not worth it. But I'll take 11 reps. Um, 10 and then 11. I actually got more reps on the second set. Uh, so. At this point, I'm happy with this. Uh, it's not 15, obviously, but you know that's just a, a goal in mind. It doesn't mean that I failed it by any means. Uh, this uh, dumbbell benches, these, these are definitely keeping my strength up in the bench without actually having to hit barbell. Uh, so moving on to some weighted dips here. I'm having to use this uh, contraption on the weighted dip machine, showing you guys the weights on the on the bar there. So uh, definitely using bar, uh, the dumbbell bench to keep my strength on barbell uh, so that when I get to the meet that I'm, I'm healthy enough to do 630, 640, 660, you know, is the goal. Um, so uh, I'm letting the shoulder heal up. The shoulder feels great. Take another couple weeks just to make sure. Uh, we'll hit a little bit of barbell next week as you guys will see. So uh, got uh, basically body weight plus 210 is kind of the prescribed weight here. Uh, so this is two sets of five. Really working on getting those triceps fired up. Uh, went ahead and added a little bit more weight here, uh, added 35 pounds on each side. Uh, this is the equivalent of about eh, 545, give or take a few, uh, obviously for the, uh, the pivot point here. Uh, the idea is to put roughly 500-ish pounds uh, worth of resistance, considering if I was doing weighted dips with my body weight being about 285 plus about 210. I'm trying to get in the range of about 500-ish pounds on uh, my triceps, and so that's kind of what, what we're going for here. 
This is uh, an odd setup for me because really I can't get, I can't keep my legs under there uh, without putting a lot of pressure on my hamstrings. There's no way I'm going to keep my butt down, and that seat belt doesn't fit uh, around me. So I'm just working with what I have. I'd like to get a little more extension at the top, get a little more parallel with the triceps, but uh, this, like I said, this is definitely awkward. Uh, I can't even really get that done with um, with lower weight. Uh, so that wraps it up there for the, the dips. Alright, so we got some uh, T-bar rows. Uh, the uh, set called for some chest supported plate loaded rows, but don't have that. So I uh, got 285 on here. Actually, not yet. Uh, it's supposed to be 215. I think I've got a total of 225 there. Uh, this is a total of uh, 32 reps, four sets of eight uh, after this set decided that uh, they need a little bit more weight. Uh, actually, I guess a couple sets here at 225. Try to keep the legs out of it as much as possible. So I decided to go ahead and just grab every plate that I could that would fit on here. <laughs> and ended up with a total of about 285 uh, for the last couple sets here. Just to really hit that back, um, I could have definitely handled a lot more weight, but uh, I'm working with what I have. Trying to stay nice and controlled. So I did two sets of that. I actually only showed one. Apologize for that. So moving on here, I've got uh, Monastery Extensions. This is uh, three sets with uh, a stack of 200. This is the full stack. 12 reps, 10 reps, and a max uh, set of reps. I did 17. Really working on getting full extension and staying tr tight in those triceps. This is a great alternative uh, to any of the tricep exercises, but uh, as you guys can see, obviously weighted dips is one. I do tricep rope. I do uh, monastery extensions, close grip bench. Uh, you can hit tries a lot more ways than one, and you can definitely hit them uh, more than once uh, in a week, and even more, more than once in a particular bench day. Like I said, my body weight's hovering right around 285. Uh, I think it's it does peak a little bit later this week uh, at about 290, uh, mostly just kind of water and things like that. Uh, it's really hot in the gym. Uh, it's really hot in Texas uh, in the summer. Uh, it's, it's about average, about 100. Uh, and this gym doesn't have any AC. Uh, it's got some fans blowing, but uh, definitely uh, not comfortable. Uh, so uh, the shirt starts getting soaked in sweat, and it's time to, to get rid of that thing. It's actually a little harder to keep my body on the ground here uh, at this angle on my knees and my, my feet want to come off the ground so this is actually more difficult to stay in position than it is to actually do the weight. Good to go. Alright, last set of the day is uh, one arm high cable uh, pulleys or pulley cables, <laughs> curls. Uh, with, this is with 80 pounds, uh, three sets. Uh, first set is 14, second is 12, and last is 10. Uh, this is extremely easy. Um, you'll see at the, on the later sets I slow this down a little bit uh, just to get a little more contraction. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and start talking about tomorrow because it's actually a pretty short day. And I want to make sure you guys understand what's going on. So uh, wrapping up on uh, day two here uh, with my bench day. Day three calls for deadlifts. And so uh, it's actually a uh, 675 for two. Uh, working up to the 675 for two. And then going on to my deadlift set, speed deadlifts, uh, meadows rows, neutral grip, lat pull downs, a lot of back stuff uh, and some grip work. Well, um, being that... Uh, I'm kind of on a time crunch. I uh, went ahead and went to the gym uh, fairly early to get my deadlifts taken care of. Uh, so naturally I go through my warm-up progression of uh, pretty much 315 to 405, uh, 495 for one, 
585 for one speed rep, uh, which you'll see here in a second, flies up no big deal. Uh, next uh, progression uh, or next jump in the progression is straight to pretty much 675 either for a single if I'm going faster than that or for a double like today or the uh, which you'll see in a minute calls for. Um, what I noticed is that I am not recovered uh, from my squats and actually my bench day my lats are pretty sore uh, the next day and so I've never done a bench day followed directly by a deadlift day uh, and as you guys know I'm pretty uh, upper body uh, dominant so uh, you'll see uh, this is the 585 here flies up no big deal uh, which doesn't give me any uh, pain or any you know pressure at all in the back definitely feel that I'm not quite uh, 100 percent but uh, I figured I was going to make it through the day so I'll show you a different angle of that same 585 warm-up but uh, as you guys know, I am one to uh, never press the envelope too much. Never, never want to you know, hurt myself in the gym. Uh, pulling this, I definitely felt my lower back just not there. And so not taking any chances, I shut the whole freaking thing down. Uh, not that I had quit or anything, but knowing that if I would have pulled this, I could have hurt something. And I just pulled 715 last week, no big deal. So uh, next week, you're going to see a 730 pull to make up for this. Uh, you'll see a uh, pretty exciting uh, bench day as well on dumbbells. But uh, I'm going to wrap this up this week. Uh, make sure you stay tuned. Please like and subscribe. And make sure you follow me on Instagram at SwimHack. And thank you, thank you, thank you very much for watching and subscribing. And I will see you guys next week. Peace.